the Chicago Bears are talking about moving to Arlington. That it's not even talking about now. We got papers filed. They're trying to break ground at Arlington. Um, I mean, you've been your whole career has been Soldier Field. Everything that's been the Bears has been Soldier Field. First off, are you pro Bears moving from Soldier Field to Arlington Heights? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, I think uh, that Soldier it, it's it's as legendary as the field is. Uh, it they had their opportunity. They had their opportunity to keep to keep the Bears. And um, and they squandered that opportunity, I think. Uh, so, in, in the, the I think the the what what you what you what you can do with Arlington Heights uh, is also far too great to stay yeah. and be and be run by a Parks and Recreation. You know, instead of owning your own and building around it, there's uh, just too much potential there. Uh, and they, and I'm sure that the ownership and everybody, everybody around the, the league understands that. Yeah, I, I, I said uh, with Sylvie last week that I think they should buy the naming rights to the city and rename it Hallis Heights. I think I think that's a no brainer right there. Like, <laughs> it's not bad. Is it? it's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, yeah. You know, what's crazy is in 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 Illinois. That's that's probably doable. You get the the, the right governor mayor in that in that area. You know. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm telling you. I mean, like, listen, we we got Wrigley. Wrigley is in Wrigleyville. Yeah, you know I mean, we we can have bear whatever they're gonna call the new stadium in Hallis Heights. I think that that's a match made in heaven right there. <laughs> Well, like I said, that's that's a brunch meeting lunch <laughs> that says, you know, hey, we, you know, if we change the name, you know, what do we get in return? Uh, you, know, yeah. it's, you know, some handshakes that are going on and and some 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 because you know, right now they listen. This I see the the tax. They, the, the tax went up. Did you guys talk about that? Did you guys talk about the tax? No, we 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 ain't talked about the tax. The tax going up on the. Uh... Over there, how, how how's that going to affect things too? That is a good point. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, they can still listen. They're still going to make enough money to handle that, you know. But and there's some, there's some movement that's going to have yeah, to happen. Not but, uh, there, yeah, there, yeah, they're definitely not crazy. But that time's going on, and the the, the 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 state knows what's going on too. Yeah, yeah, it's it's such an interesting situation with them moving because it's like. How do you, how do you how do you have land that you could have given to the Chicago Bears and not do it, and then you're upset that they just want to leave Soldier Field when Soldier Field? Well, listen, Soldier Field is iconic. It's it's an amazing place. It it is it is a major part of the city. But realistically, for the charter franchise, we should want the best, and it, it just it never felt like that to me. Yeah, I, I I just remember a lot of a lot of um, the 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 issues you know dealing with Parks and Rec and then uh, um, saying no to a lot of situations and yeah. and having to explain look we have all these events that are happening that's why the grass isn't where it needs to be and and it's it just it. It's one of those the, the pain in the butt, you know, yeah. situations where <clears throat> you know it, it, what could have been what what could you have done to create created a, a better environment for the players? What well, even even that right? Even you even you talking about the field conditions and stuff like that. What was that like? Where you're like, hey, why the heck is Paramore? playing here on Saturday and we got the Packers next week. You know what I mean? Like, what was that like just knowing that the field was not going to be up to the standard that you needed it to be to play on at the highest level? Man, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't care. I really didn't care. I, no. I, I, you play, whoever we play against has to play on the same surface that we play on. No. You know, uh, we're going to play some football. You know, I'm going to say this mud. We're going to slide in the mud. You know, if it's you know, actually, you know, the one time it was it, it was a little bit different was when the uh, when it was frozen. It was like a Monday night against the Packers in 08, and it was frozen. 
Yeah. And that was maybe the only time where I was not, you know, I was like, I falling was going to hurt today. Yeah. You know, what I mean? like if I could, if I can grab this guy and push him out of bounds and stay up, I'm going to try to do that. You know, and that, you know, that was one of the only times, but outside of that, uh, you know, football, football. Yeah. Was there, was there any different prep going in? Was it like just any different, uh, anything you did different heading into the game or preparing your body for the conditions that you expected the field to be in? No, you know what? Uh, Tony Medellin was always the guy that was going to come around and he was going to give us uh, tips and reminders on the surface and say, hey, listen, these are the kind of cleats you need to wear today. This is what you need. Or uh, uh, just be prepared for this. This kind of, it's a, it's a slick surface. Um, and that's, I, I'm, I mean, even with T Med saying that kind of stuff, you know, I'm, to me, it was. I just want to make sure that I'm on top of it. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know yeah. what I'm supposed to do. You know, uh, it's a game of angles uh, and a game of inches. And so um, if I know where I need to be and it's a slippery surface, get there faster and be, and be, uh, and, and have those knees bitten ready. You know, <clears throat> so it's just understanding football, understanding the surfaces. What what was what was that time where the field got you where you was like oh I'm about to lay this mug out and then all of a sudden the grass was just gone underneath your feet. Well, it's, you know more so than the grass, it was um, it was another player. You know there were yeah. uh, 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 hundreds of times where I think I have the right angle and I'm I'm going to blow this guy up. Yeah. And I'm like, why is my body moving right past him? Like, <laughs> what is going on? And, and I realized, you know, I was I was lightly getting blocked. Like somebody yeah. just pushed me just enough yeah. to make me fly by this tackle. Uh, and that that happens all the time. Of course, you just you slide on that grass. You dig that grass that that uh, you're putting there, and you slide on there and just miss tackles. But uh, um, uh, you know, the, the the guys on the other side they get paid too. You know, they get paid too, and those guys are some. They're, they're all talents. So, uh, you know, sometimes even getting a hand on a guy, you know it's not enough. This guy, this is not, guy's not going to fall because he feels my hand uh, on his knee. You know, so yeah. um, these things all happen. The only thing you can hope is that the other 10 guys on defense are uh, flying to this ball and maybe we'll make up for my mistake. What was that? I don't know if I've asked you this on the pod, and the pod is the best place to ask it. What was your, uh, oh, I'm here moment? In the NFL, what was your like? Oh, this is this a little different up here, where where you was either going head up with somebody and they they got you back, or or you 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 were about to make a tackle and all of a sudden the tackle wasn't there. What was that first moment where you was like, oh, this is the league? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Oh, uh, shoot. We played. We played. We played. Um. San Diego, my rookie year, just with Damian Tomlinson. And just watching him on film, I, you know, what I was nervous the most about was, was if he catches the screen, he caught a lot of screens, yeah. he catches the screen, if I get a good angle on him, he's going to shake me. Yeah. You know, but my thing was, listen, whether he shakes me or not, I'm just going to run as hard as I can. And if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. You know, um, we had a, there was a third and one. And just based off of what they run a lot, you know, in study and tape, I had a good feeling where he was going to go. And on that third and one, you know, I was able to get my nose in there. He ran as hard as he could. I ran him, bam, nosed him up and, and, uh, and, and, and stopped his, uh, his progress. And we got off the field. You know, so that was a really good feeling. But you know, in, the, in that, in that, against that, that, that screen, you know, he shook me. He shook me. You know, <laughs> had, he shook me. But we had other guys that were coming in, so we didn't fall. Yeah. We didn't fall, which was good. So to me, it was a play that was that I helped make. Yeah, you know, it was a play I helped make. I didn't make the tackle, but I helped make the play. Hey, that's that's what it's all about, man. I got shook, but we got. It. <laughs> that's true. It's a, but you know, it's all about sacrifices. Man. And I have no problem. And I have no problem looking bad. I have no yeah. problem sacrificing looking bad so that my teammates can come in and make plays. That's the right mentality to have. I love that. I love that, man.
Uh, listen, we talked about kind of some things you did to prepare on the field and kind of protect yourself. 